Welcome to Aggie Land. I'm Abby Fenimore. We're here at the campus of Texas A&M today and we're installing the new house for the Tommy chapter of Alpha Omicron Pi. The Texas A&M chapter for Alpha Omicron Pi has been on campus now for five years, but this is the first year for them to have a brand new home that they can call their own. It's here on Greek Row with all the other sororities. So I think it's gonna be such an amazing experience going forward for them especially during recruitment. So now they can be a part of the community, a part of the experience of recruitment, and now have a place that they can be proud of and call home and have all of their amazing, wonderful events and um, game nights and TV watching and all the fun things that happen um, in a chapter house. This house has been many years in the making. I have been working with AOPI for at least a year and a half two years almost on the planning and construction and every detail to make this the perfect home, the perfect first home for the Tommy chapter here at Texas A&M. Since we've worked on a very similar floor plan before for another chapter, it was really important not to copy and paste everything that we did. Plus coming up with really unique and special designs for each chapter has been a little bit of a challenge. I love working with AOPI nationally and I also love that each chapter kind of has their own vibe and style and what they want for their home. So the chapter here was very specific. They wanted checkered floors in their entry, which I was beyond ecstatic to give them. So we went with a really subtle gray and white checkered floor. I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. It really formalizes that entry and it gives them a true space to walk into that feels like an entry versus just a really open space because that's kind of how this floor plan is laid out. Um, so working with sorority houses, it's a really unique kind of design. You can't just put in something because it's pretty. It needs to have form and function but it also does, of course, need to look beautiful. So we were able to create a lot of custom branded pieces for this house, which I'm very excited that we worked with Worlds Away to collaborate to come up with some really unique special things. So we were able to kind of do a nod to their Infinity Rose, which is part of their new branding. So it looks like AO Pi, but it doesn't scream Greek letters and it doesn't look really cheesy or cheap. Um, another thing we do, we do this in a lot of houses, we do their embroidery on pillows. And so I feel like this kind of gives them also little touches in the house. It looks a little classy, still being um, within brand, but really beautiful and it works with the interiors. So something that this chapter here at Texas A&M wanted was a space that felt kind of adult um, but they didn't want it to be frumpy or stuffy. They wanted it to be approachable and casual so that they could sit around and lounge and put their feet up. So when we're working on these sorority houses, since you have so many girls coming in and out or women that live in the homes, we want them to feel like they can sit on their furniture and put their feet up and that they're not gonna damage something. So we give them a lot of upholstered pieces that are in performance fabrics, that are still bright, vivid colors. They can put their feet on, they have extra seating space, and it doesn't look like you crammed a bunch of pieces in the house. It looks very um, purposeful and it gives them a little bit more of a reason to want to spend time in here. My favorite part of this house is the library. I love the blush pink sofa with the channeling in the back and that massive, colorful, floral, custom canvas artwork. I love the massive artwork that we had custom created. Hannah Brown is a Dallas artist and she's done a few pieces um, of my puppies. So I love her. She's got the most vibrant, unique style. She's very edgy and creative. So when I asked Hannah to create a couple pieces for a few of these houses, she jumped on it. So I love that room. I love that soft feel. The light filters in there beautifully. They have that really gorgeous, huge bookcase. So eventually they'll be able to add all of their chapter awards and just really unique pieces that are special to the chapter. But who doesn't love a blush sofa? I mean, it is just stunning. And I love the fact that the legs are upholstered all the way down with that really beautiful welt detail. So it's just something that you didn't, you wouldn't expect to see that. And I think that's what I love about it. When you walk in the house, of course, we have this really gorgeous custom conversation settee, which I've been wanting to use for years. And it fits perfectly in this home. You've got this really grand entry and you walk in and it's this raspberry velvet. Can I go on and on anymore about the library? I love it. It's, it's stunning. 